Hi guys, so I accidentally deleted the intro I made for this video, which is why I'm doing it on this voiceover. But this is just a collective beauty haul of everything I've been buying this December, so I hope you like it. So this month my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wig ran out, and I tried to go without, and I think I lasted like three days. So I thought I'll just use up some of my other brow products before I repurchase it, because it is expensive. But... I just couldn't live without it. So the shade I got was soft brown and it just looks like this. So you've got a brow pencil on one end and a little brush on the other for kind of like brushing your brows into shape. And what I really like about this product is that it isn't waxy because I find that waxy pencils sometimes pull on the actual hairs of my brow and just kind of misshape them a bit. And also it's really thin. So you can really kind of control the shape of your brow and make them look really natural because you can kind of brush it on in hair like strokes and I just really like the overall finished look and I have got it on today if anyone wanted to know what it looked like on. So this month I also had enough empty MAC products to exchange them for a free lipstick through their Back to MAC program and if you're unfamiliar with this scheme, if you have six empty MAC products you can exchange them for a free lipstick of your choice at one of their counters and I think you can also do it online but sometimes they're a bit funny about what they accept like the eyeshadow pans and stuff so if you can, I'd really recommend going into store because there's nothing worse than paying to send all of the Back to Mac products off and then realising that they're not acceptable. But anyway, I decided to pick up Flamingo because it is a beautiful pinky coral colour with a hint of orange and I just didn't have any colours like this in my collection at the moment. This shade did used to be part of the All About Orange collection, which was a limited edition collection released by MAC a couple of years ago. And they've now released all four shades into their permanent line, which I'm so pleased about because they are all beautiful shades. And I did miss the collection the first time round because it was kind of before I was really into MAC and following their limited edition collections and stuff. So after going to the MAC counter, I headed to the Clinique counter where I picked up their Super Powder Double Face Makeup, which just like this it comes in this really cute like floral pastel packaging and I picked this up after being really disappointed with the MAC blot powder which I mentioned in my products I regret buying tag and I so far I really like this powder I've tried it a couple of times and it seems to kind of mattify my skin without making it look flat or cakey and it's quite thin so it's good for touch-ups throughout the day but I was matched to the color matte beige which is number two and it's just so dark I put it on and my, it just makes my skin look like I've put bronzer all over it. So I really think I could have done with the O1. But I did actually get colour match. I think it was just the lights like around the beauty counters make things look a lot lighter than they actually are. So it did look good when I put it on in the store. But when I got home and tried it, it just doesn't look anything like that. But I've opened it and I've used it now so I can't return it. Which is kind of annoying. But I guess I can just keep it for when I fake tanned or in summer when hopefully I'll have a little bit of a natural tan. But I really would recommend this powder if you do have oily skin but you want something that isn't going to kind of cake your face in powder and make it look really flat. Next I headed over to Topshop where I spotted their beauty counter and I've never really tried any Topshop beauty stuff before because nothing's ever really caught my eye. But I saw these eyeshadows and they are the Chameleon Glow eyeshadows and they just look like this and I don't know if you can see but they kind of change colour in different lights I'll try and insert a swatch um, somewhere in this video so that you can kind of see them changing in different lights because my camera's not really picking up on it right now but I got the colour Wax and Wane which is kind of a purpley colour but when you put it on it looks a bit bronzy and it kind of applies in like a cranberry colour but when you blink it has this kind of like blue sheen across your eye and it's so sparkly and so pretty and I just love them. I did look on the Topshop website though and they said that they can be used as highlighters and I'm not really sure what Topshop were thinking when they said that because Wax and Wayne is purpley colour with blue pigment over the top of it and I just, that's not going to look good on your cheek and the other one that they have is kind of a goldy colour but it has a green pigment running through it, kind of a shimmery pigment. So I just, I don't really know who these would look good on as a highlighter but they are really pretty eyeshadows so I really recommend you go and pick them up and they're only £9 so I don't think that's too expensive. So yeah, I'd really recommend going and checking these out if you're ever in a top shop. So the next product I have to show you this month is the Makeup Revolution Welcome to the Pleasure Dome palette which looks like this. So you have a row of matte shades, some bluey purpley shimmers and also some neutral shimmers here. I got this in a goodie bag at the Southampton Bloggers Meet and 
I don't think I'll be using the darker colours just because that's not really my thing but the neutral kind of shimmers and the mattes are really pretty and they're also really pigmented and really easy to blend. And I've never really thought to try anything from Makeup Revolution before even though I've seen so many blog posts about them because I wasn't really sure if the quality was really as good as everyone was saying. But now that I know it, that it is, I think I'm definitely going to have to try some of their other products. So if you know of any Makeup Revolution products that you think I'll like, please leave them in the comments below. So I'd really love to see what you all love. So the last product I picked up this month is the OPI Nail Polish in Short Story, which is just this beautiful kind of bubblegum pink colour. Um, I picked this up because I had a mini OPI polish of one of the Minnie Mouse limited edition collections and it ran out and I kind of scoured the internet trying to find a replacement and try and get it in the full size. But I just couldn't get it anywhere. The only place that was selling it was eBay for about £30. I didn't really want to do that because £30 for an OPI nail varnish is ridiculously expensive. And also you never know if it's going to be real or not if you, if, until it turns up. So I left that one and I started looking for some dupes and short story was the closest one I could see online. So I ordered it off Amazon, it was about £7 which is a little bit cheaper than your regular OPI nail polish so if you are looking for any OPI definitely check out Amazon. And I applied it next to like the last of my Minnie Mouse polish and it is identical. I'm so glad I picked this up and I've been wearing it non-stop. So that's everything I've been buying this month. I really hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!